Hi everybody, I'm Willow Bradner of willowbradner.com and I'm the Accidental Psychic. I just wanted to take a minute and teach you a little something that I learned about manifesting that I think is super important and I think it really helps to break down and demystify this whole manifesting, intuition, psychic thing, but as well, even more importantly, this is really going to help you grow time. Really, you're going to grow time today. So about a week ago, my daughter Zoe and I decided to grow some time. We planted literal seeds of time. And the reason that we planted time is because sometimes we all need to grow time. Do you agree with that? Do you feel like sometimes there's just not enough time? So the idea of growing time really creates this idea of abundance and that there is enough of it to go around. But it also creates this experience where you can watch the things that you want grow in real time. And it allows the brain to sort of the brain and the ego aspect of yourself to really grow this muscle and understanding of what it is for time to happen. We often say we don't have enough of it or it's not happening on our time frame. And then we layer on to the time expectations and, and sort of this assumption that it's going to happen a certain way at a certain time in a certain place and have this traditional outcome that we've created, right? But plants, when you're actually planting a seed, you really don't know how many seeds are gonna take root. You really don't know if it's going to happen in this time or that time. You're really not super clear about it. So when you take the time to literally plant some time, you can watch time grow. And I think that that's such a great analogy for all things, watching time grow. So about a week and a half ago, my daughter and I did this experiment and my husband participated kind of. So my husband and daughter planted the time about three or four days before I did. And then I came along and I planted my time to watch it grow. Now, what I think is really interesting about the difference is this is my daughter's and I'll show you up close. Hers is really like wet. You can almost tell even by the container, it's pretty wet and the dirt is really wet. Mine is an honest amount of, I hate the word, but we'll use it moist, right? And mine's growing. Mine got planted three to four days after hers. And let me explain to you why, and you know, cup size, just kidding. Um, let me explain to you why mine is growing and hers is not, and what that means in terms of time and manifesting, okay? She's taking the time every day that she doesn't need to spend. She's taking time every day that she doesn't need to spend, and she's watering this thing. And she's watering it every day and putting so much pressure, literally, like water pressure, see that, on this plant to have it grow. Now she's six, so we can give her a little bit of credit because she's little, right? She's trying and this is new for her, but we'll use it as an example of manifesting. Oftentimes with manifesting, we put a lot of pressure on the outcome. We put a lot of pressure on the time frame in which we expect it to happen. And then we waste a ton of energy that we don't need to be wasting trying to make it grow instead of watering it as needed every two to three days in the case of a new seed or once a week in the case of an actual live plant and then just allowing it to do its thing and grow. So in my case, I've not wasted any energy, not wasted any time, I've not wasted any water. There's been no pressure on this plant to grow. I've surrendered the outcome. What I did know when I planted these seeds, inevitably, unequivocally, without a shadow of a doubt, what I knew when I planted these seeds is that they were going to grow, right? So imagine you applied that knowing to the thing that you're trying to create in your life. What if you were just able to apply the knowing that what you want is going to grow? And what if what you surrender is the time that it takes for it to grow? And what if what you surrender is that you don't put heavy expectations and you really, really look at the time that you're spending on your business, on your life, on your aspirations, on your career, whatever it is that you're after right now. What if you really look at the time that you're spending to create that and ask yourself how much of the time that you're spending is actually creating pressure and how much of the time you're actually spending is being wasted 
because it's unnecessary. It's not needed. So much of what we do in our daily lives is actually a waste of our time. Like we get mad at the laundry, we get mad at cooking, but nowadays you can have all of these things delivered to us. So what in your life, what in your business, what in your relationships can you relinquish control of and stop putting the pressure on it to do something? How much time can you grow when you stop putting pressure on it and over like paying too much attention and, and essentially strangling it, right? How much time can you grow? You can not only expand time when you stop wasting it and putting pressure on things that don't matter, but you'll also see that things start to grow a lot quicker this way, right? They just start growing quicker. It's just sort of the case. And that's the thing that a lot of us don't understand about manifesting. It's like you still have to get in the car. You still have to start the engine. You still have to have some direction. Like I knew unequivocally without a shadow of a doubt that if I applied water to this dirt and some seeds to it, eventually it would grow. Again, without expectation, I just knew and trusted it was gonna grow. If you apply that knowing and that trust to your business, your relationships, your life, your career, anything that you're after, if you apply just this trust and knowing that it's going to grow, and then you apply the, the minimum or, or somewhere in the middle between minimum and maximum amount of energy to it, the necessary energy that has to go into it for it to grow, no more, and no less, like don't be lazy about it, but, but certainly no more, don't strangle it, don't put pressure on it, don't waste energy or time, just the right amount. Find that sweet spot for your life, for the things that you're trying to grow. Not only will you grow time, not only will you grow time, but you will discover how easy it can be to manifest what you want. And sooner rather than later, your dreams, will be coming to fruition. And the seeds that you are planting of inspiration for your life will grow, as will your time. Thanks for joining me today. This is Willow Bradner of willowbradner.com. To learn more about manifesting your intuition and creating a life of your dreams, please visit my website at www.willowbradner.com. And if you opt in today, if you subscribe to my website today, you get an entire manifestation kit. So it'll help you to really grow these muscles of manifesting so that you can really start beginning to flourish in your life in this capacity. Lots of love, you guys. Peace in. Talk to you soon.